Brazilian pastries, artisanal flour, decadent chewy brownies, and Czech delights. Bacon is a science, but it's a delicious one. They're ready. I'm Aida Mollenkamp, food writer and food obsessed. My passion is finding and tasting the best artisanal food around the country. So dig in and meet the folks who make it, pack it, and ship it straight to your door. Just click to taste. Austin is an incredibly international city. And on the east side, they're flying the Brazilian flag when it comes to baking. When people come around the corner at our spot, they should feel like they're in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. You have the vibe, <laughs> the Brazilian cooking and kitchen. You have the gringo. <laughs> I'm Elias Martin. I'm Ben Guggens, and we are Rio's Brazilian. So in September of 2006, we started selling our products at downtown Austin Farmer's Market. Division of labor, I mean, I have my talents and I can put them to work, but his food is the, the foundation. It's the only thing we have. So without his food, there's nothing. We didn't want to do what people already knew. We wanted to do what Brazilians know and also more social type of food. Hey, how are you? Good. Okay, Elias, you're gonna teach me an empadal, yeah? Yes. Did I say that okay? Yeah, you say it fine. Okay, <laughs> so what is it exactly? Because I've never this heard of it This is a savory cupcakes. So savory Brazilian cupcake. Cupcake, yeah. When people ask us what it is, we tell them it's a, a muffin or a cupcake, but it's not sweet, so it's savory. We do various types, and one of those, of course, is the hearts of palm. First of all, I go do the garlic, yeah. so you can do some basil. Sure. So is this a really traditional empadal that we're making, or no, is no, it kind of your... No, making my version. Your version. How long did it take you to develop this recipe where you were happy with it? Uh, I think maybe two glasses of wine, I think about it. Two glasses of wine, you thought about yeah. them, but down you're done. You're done, so... I wish I could develop my recipes so quickly. <laughs> so after onions, I go do one tomato. You can do a little pepper. I go give the hot sauce on for you. Now, we have a lot of ingredients laid out here. Mushrooms. Right. Have olives, have carrots, have basil and scallion, some peas. Garlic. Some, some garlic. But one thing you can now change is the hot sauce I need to be there. It's as Brazilian as the, as the green and yellow. So, well, let's go Okay, let's do it. After saute, let's go make sure everything yeah. is cooking. Yeah. So let's go taste. Okay, yeah. Nice and soft. It looks all kind of melded together. Yes. One for you. Thank you. I like that the vegetables still have their texture, and there's a lot of flavor coming out, but, you know, nothing's too overcooked or anything. Um, in a dough, you go see the difference when you have the crush okay. together. Okay. Well, then let's so go make the dough. Yeah, let's go make okay. it. Okay. Okay, take a little bit of this. Sure. So you go do for by your hands. I like this. Sometimes technique. when you're angry, it's better. So you go do a food is bit. therapy. Be this. Put a one in a spoon. Sure. I, you go cover. So you just go ahead be a and fill it with generous, it. yes. Because when you want some pastry, you want a little filling inside. So you go cover this. How many of the empadas are you guys making these days? Probably maybe 100, 200, that depends. On a daily basis? Yeah. Am I getting any better with my Portuguese, by the way? No, really, but that's fine. <laughs> That's done. Wow, that looks gorgeous. I like how much egg wash you have on there, nice color to them. Like, they really Spoody, do yeah. kind of look, yeah, and they smell great too. We can eat them? Yeah, let's go do it. Let's do it. Mmm. Mm. It's a little butter. Yeah, exactly. There's a good amount of butter and all the vegetables in there. I know you guys call it a savory cupcake. To me, it's Brazilian pot pie. We have three flavors of empadão. We have the hearts of palm, we have the Japanese eggplant, and we have a soy chorizo version. 
We've got farmer's markets, and we do online ordering, and then now we have our cafe. And it's just neat to think that somebody in California is ordering our product for somebody in Washington, D.C., and we're in the middle. So that's been pretty cool to see our products get to be spread that way.